Well, I was nervous initially uh, about working with uh, the professional players because uh, you, know, you get outside your wheelhouse. I think everyone coming into this USA basketball process had reservations, you know, how is a college coach going to be able to coach all these NBA egos and personalities and superstar talent. This college thing I'm doing pretty, pretty well. Now I got these great players, how will they accept me, will they listen, you know, who are they? I had all the reasons in the world not to like him. I'm telling you the honest truth and he knows it. The fact that he was Duke and I was Wake, you know, there, there was nothing that he could do to make me really like him. And now I absolutely love him. At the end of the day, players want to be coached. Players want to connect with their coaches, and especially the ones at that level. You can't take who you are with Duke and say you're going to be the same coach or same leader with, uh, with the Olympic team. You have to adapt. That's what Coach K always does as a coach. He adapts every year. Obviously, he has all the staples of, a, of an exceptional leader. Amazing preparation, uh, a tireless worker, uh, great communication skills. I think the thing that uh, has always struck me about him, though, is his, his desire and ability to invest in relationships. Well, maintaining relationships is so important in leadership. I mean, your, your, your people have to know you and trust you, and so you have to touch them in some way. You know, I joke and tell people, but it's really not a joke, that I feel like Luke Skywalker, when he was training to become a Jedi, and, you know, the lessons that he learned from Yoda. You know, just hearing Coach, I mean, just being in there and just seeing his insights and, and seeing how he sees the game, and most importantly, how he creates a team. He has the same thing that makes all of us players great, and that's the ability to be confident but not arrogant. I'm not a, a big proponent of that expression, check your egos at the door. I, I'd rather have them bring their egos in, and when we go out the door, let's go out with a shared ego. You know when you're in a meeting with Coach K, when you're preparing for a game, when you're in a film session, uh, when you're in a huddle with him during a game, that you are getting his best. You can't fake that. It doesn't matter if you're coaching college players or you're coaching LeBron James. Uh, you know at all times that you're getting Coach K's absolute best. And that, to me, is what a leader should always do. He's somebody that you can trust and somebody that I, I go to battle with any day.